the biggest stage that this competition, which started out as the European Nations Cup back in 1960. It's a terrific tournament to take part in and even better to win it. Portugal do have a couple of issues worth mentioning, although this is effectively an away game for them. Three million Portuguese living in the Paris area, so the support is plentiful and passionate. And they have had 24 hours more rest time than their opponents, which going into a seventh game in less than a month is surely more of a help than a hindrance. When Nanny's ready, away we go. Germany, and rightly so. But, uh, an early sight of goal here for Nani, who's had a terrific tournament as well. And himself a move to Valencia for next season. That's a sweeping ball, and he just catches... Not quite high enough, not quite deep enough. So, Matuidi stepping in, Griezmann. Not an easy ball to strike on the turn. Well, I've got players surging forward, players attacking the ball really well here, fans. First to Soko, then plays Matuit. Portugal at the moment struggling to get up to the pace of fans. Getting robbed to the ball just like Ronaldo was there. And he stayed down, but uh, Mark Tattenberg saw nothing wrong and France play on. And now uh, Fernando Santos is telling his players from uh, down in the technical area there, you can see him put it out. 17 players in that first game, 15 of whom are involved in this squad. Here's Payet, not a slip, but what a good header. That was typical of a man in form from Griezmann. But Rui Patricio in Portugal's goals having a good tournament too, and he was needed to stop that just looping in. Uh, starting with a mistake from Pepe. Seeing the 10 minute mark in the final. France's corner taken by Payet. And uh, Giroud, who started the tournament. Off, of course, with a goal at this end of the... We lost uh, on penalties in the end to Sweden. William Carvalho. We hope it doesn't get a penalty here, but there's, there's mm. worse than that. That is not good news, is it? I think that's the end of his night by the looks of him. It was pretty effective. Well, he's... Mm. Strapped up a bit. A football here. That's a great run by Musa Sissoko. And they can't handle it, can they? They can't handle that. Kanban's off, yeah. and he's off. You did read the signs right, Alan. He's worked so hard, waited so long to, to get to this point, to a, a major final with his country. And when it happens, it only lasts a few minutes, really, until that... Here's Payet. Suzuko has done well, and Rui Patricio well again. It's uh, turning out to be a bit of a duel here. It just got plenty behind that. Moves to Sissoko. Short one, but a quick whip in from Carrera. Looks like it's going to be a bit more orthodox, this from Jean Mario. Coma. He's done well here. And that's better. He's uh, created the shooting chance for Antoine Griezmann. Not an easy one from that angle. Was ball to Coman. Griezmann! Well, I don't think too many people in the stadium can believe he's missed that. Well, he's run off Guerrero at the far post, and I think the left back thought this was going to be a goal. We're wearing to their baggage. That's a big hit by Coman, but uh, it wasn't too close to the target. Get back on his feet here, and he has done for Giroud on his strong side. Another strong save from Rui Patricio. Sanya, Sissoko in too much. Yeah, there. There's a forward with not a very good goal scoring record. And Sani switches. Uh, See Nani from the right. Oh! comes out for Quaresma. Well, that could have been the final decided in a most unorthodox fashion. Nani's ball in. Yeah, well, it wasn't. And a, a real moment of quality like that from Sissoko. Coman. And then 
The follow-up from Musa Sissoko has done so much to try and get France in front. Evra. Gignac. And he's been here. He has done! <laughs> Great feet. Doesn't catch it cleanly, but must think he's done enough. Off the heel. Maurice, who's had so little to do, but uh, the players have more work, and no wonder. So, 15 minutes each way to go. Still awaiting the first goal in the final. Taken by Juarez, no, no flags up. And uh, it wasn't too far away, but it wouldn't have counted. That was a nice ball in, nothing wrong with that, but... Uh, with that language. Here is Perez Maede. Well, France survived and looked to counter attack here with Griezmann and Cristiano Ronaldo, but his substitute, Ricardo Quaresma, is a practitioner of the art. But it's Guerrero who takes it, hits the bar. Well, he scored a couple of goals already and inscribed on the trophy with that free kick. Here comes Ede. Not got much help. Oh, he doesn't need any help. How about that? The striker who rarely scores has scored maybe the biggest goal in the history of the Portugal national team. Well, I said earlier, he would have been an unlikely hero when he had that header saved by Hugo Lloris. But that drive from distance, he could not have hit it any better. As you say, Martin, he's not a... <laughs> can hardly walk himself. <laughs> well, Smith, what have you made of this? Well, it's just football <laughs> for you, isn't it? Never ceases to amaze. In Portugal, Coman needs to get his cross in. Does get his cross in. <laughs> oh, flags up. The flag did go up in the end, but not on the shot from Martial. Always makes referees add on a little bit more time. But it's the greatest night in Portugal's football history for Cristiano Ronaldo. From tears to cheers, and more tears this time of joy. Their first major trophy against all the odds. And France, just as Portugal did themselves in 2004, fail in front of their own fans. And it's Portugal who are champions of Europe. They hadn't beaten the French for 41 years. Ten successive defeats, but the perfect time to put that... They are maybe party poopers in Paris, but they are Portugal. And tonight they've been simply magnificent. Champions of Europe 2016.